this lecture we're going to talk about how to add indicators just simple way to add indicators uh, to a chart from code and uh, so here it is yeah and uh, if you click on it well it's an EMA and if you actually go into the strategies you also have this EMA parameter here where you can actually input the period okay and uh, so if I go ahead and um, well where is it disable and I don't know put in 23 you see it's zero by default well um, so there it goes it's um, it's moving okay now so how you do that it's pretty easy so first you gotta initialize uh, some, well I, I'll make it a global field yeah uh, EMA of type indicator right ninja trader indicator right and uh, in the and then during initialization uh, you gotta do this right so all of your indicators so let me show you if I go into the indicator and uh, and this is important when you actually come to do your own so a b c d the, here's your EMA okay uh, if you see that so this is the code that you wrote or I wrote doesn't matter and this is ninja script generated code so after you actually write your indicator right uh, you see this is the this is the reference uh, this is the name that it will be referenced with and uh, so basically after you actually write your indicator and you got to put it into ninja trader right and compile this particular indicator with ninja trader and it will add this code and you see this EMA here the name for it it actually put this name here inside this auto generated code and only after that, that indicator will become available inside inside your strategy, inside your strategy. Sorry, okay, right here. So you just have to go EMA, um, and it's there, right? Now the problem is that sometimes if you change this class name right here, it might not change here, and you'll still be referencing in the code. You'll still be referencing the old name, although the indicator name is going to be different as a class but um, I mean you don't really need to do that because if you just want to change the indicator name there is a field called name and you just go and change the name or you can end the you can change the file name as well nothing is going to really happen okay so and if you change the name here it will actually appear differently in your indicator list right here okay so <clears throat> basically once you reference it and uh, so here your EMA uh, that you're gonna use inside your code I mean it has to be global because I mean obviously if you initialize an indicator uh, at start you're gonna you know use it in your on bar update and further on and uh, so basically right here I got an EMA I created and it's got a period and that period is actually uh, a, a, a parameter which is which is configured right here and then I gotta add use an add method from strategy base uh, to add this EMA to the chart okay now uh, so this is this this public field here uh, parameter it's got some description grid category so basically if you go ahead and look right here <clears throat> and um, so if we sort of so this is your uh, grid category if you go ahead and click on it so this is your description and EMA period. So this mimics your whatever you got the field name. So the field name will actually equal in this case. There is a method to change it, but I never bothered to. Uh, you could it actually mimics this name. Okay. So and that's about it. And if you want to give it a default value, then you just can go ahead and put like 20, 21 here. Okay. So so now every time you actually oh sorry. So, I mean, it's the EMA period, isn't it? Okay, so now every time I open up the strategy, the default value for the EMA period is going to be 21 instead of 0 like it was. But the only thing is that you might, uh, in order for this change to take place, I bet you gotta, uh, you gotta actually restart Ninja. Ah, uh, sorry, not restart Ninja, re... So ninja class, so there you go, 21. Okay, if I just restart, uh, reload ninja script, it's not gonna affect it. Okay, because it already initialized 
on startup there's also an on startup method which actually uh, could also be overridden and uh, that's where it probably gets the values from these guys okay so anyway uh, that's about it for indicator uh, initialization I mean there's more to it and we'll probably get there when we get to develop indicators all right and uh, but for right now that's about it and enough to to, to move on